peace love and good vibes what's up everybody um maybe you have heard and maybe you haven't but just before dawn on monday june 3rd we will be having um a six planet alignment which will be taking place now this isn't um a, 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 it's not a rare occurrence um from what i understand it has happened before and i do believe it's going to happen again in august but Right now, we want to focus on what's going to happen on June 3rd. So there's going to be a six-planet alignment, and the planets that are going to be aligning are Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, Neptune, and Saturn. So Jupiter represents growth and expansion, healing, prosperity, good fortune, and the astrological sign that it aligns itself with is are Sagittarius, Pisces, um, and it's also exalted by Cancer. And um, this, of course, is according to the Western astrology because, you know, Western astrology is a little bit different from Vedic astrology. So what I've been told um, is that Vedic astrology is more accurate than the Western astrology, but for the most part, the majority of us who follow astrology, we know that we study and we practice, um, or we go by the Western astrology. Um, so with that being said, let's move on. So Mercury is the next planet and Mercury deals with communication, intellect, and quick thinking. And it also represents curiosity, adaptability, and a sense of humor. Um, Uranus represents technology, surprising events, and breakthroughs. Mars, energy, action, strength, ambition, and impulsiveness. And that planet um, is associated with the astrological signs of Aries and Scorpio and the astrological signs that Uranus is um, associated with um, we'll get back to that because I did not write that down and I do apologize ladies and gentlemen so um, when I was doing my notes I overlooked which astrological signs represent Uranus so please forgive me on that and I'll write that in the um, in the um, description or you can look that up for yourselves if you so do choose to. But I'll have it in the description box. Um, Neptune um, represents spirituality, intuition, and psychic abilities. And that is associated with the astrological sign of Pisces and Saturn. It focuses on responsibility and structure. And those two um, represent Capricorn and Aquarius. So it didn't have Leo, so it's a possibility that Uranus um, could represent um, Libra or Leo. But um, I want to find that out for sure, and um, I'll put that in the description box. So with that being said, with these six planets aligning, what can we expect? Well, if we look back at April 8th, when we had the eclipse, um, <clears throat> excuse me, shortly thereafter, um, the April 8th eclipse uh, took place. Um, it was a partial eclipse in some states, and it was a total eclipse in other states. Um, I've noticed that after that uh, eclipse on April 8th, there were a lot of tornadoes that happened. A lot of tornadoes took place um, shortly thereafter. And um, tornadoes in places that you wouldn't even think, you know, would occur. Like, I believe one tornado took place in Japan. So, um, it was, um, I just uh, thought about that and I and um, I shared that information and then someone counteracted that and said well no that just happens all the time you know nothing you know phenomenal about it nothing out of the ordinary and in some instances in some cases that may be true but 
from what I gathered and from what I saw, like after like each major event or astrological event, um, something does take place. So just like with these, um, I think that something is going to take place. And so that's why I looked up each planet that's supposed to be in alignment and to find out what they, what each planet represents. So what we could possibly, um, could expect we could with Jupiter, we could expect with this alignment, growth and expansion and healing and prosperity and good fortune. Uh, we could also expect, um, communication and intellect and quick thinking. Um, all of these things just, you know, coincide with each other. Um, so we could just listen and look and watch and pay attention. And with Uranus has talked about technology and surprising events. So let's, let's look at Uranus for a moment with this technology. Could it be that AI will become more prevalent? Um, during the few months or a few weeks after uh, this sixth planet alignment, it's a possibility. Um, Mars talks about energy and action and strength and ambition. Will people be more impulsive, you know, during this time or a few days after this time? And uh, will, become, will people become more spiritually aware? Uh, will their intuition heighten? Um, will psychic abilities heighten? Or will we, <clears throat> excuse me, see more of that with Neptune? And of course with Saturn, will we see more structure and responsibility? So, um, we just don't know. We would just have to wait and see. And we have, you know, I think both people on the spectrum, we have people who think like myself. And then you have others who think like, oh, there's, you know, that's just a coincidence. Or, no, things like this happen all the time. However you feel about it or whatever end of the spectrum you're on i mean we will just have to wait and see um so with that being said um i want to get into some tarot reads um you know just to see <coughs> excuse me what the energy um, is going to bring about or what the energy could possibly bring about with this um, six planet alignment, you know, and with these surprising events, like I really want to focus on Uranus because that's what I think is going to be, I think, the main focus or one of the main focuses with these surprising events because there are a lot of things that are taking place, you know, with the Trump situation, he had been found guilty or he was convicted on all 34 charges. So there may be some surprising events that come about uh, with his um, trial or his sentencing. Um, I know he has to go back before the judge on July 11th. So hmm, we shall see. All right. So basically, let's get into this terror read. Um, Basically, what we want to know, what we want to find out, um, or what we are curious about, I should say, um, what type of events can we expect? What type of events can we expect with this six planet alignment? All right, what types of events? Can we expect with this six planet alignment? All right, let's see. I'll take these. Okay, so we have four cards and they're all in the upright. So we have the Jack of Hearts. Eight of Spades, Two of Hearts, and the Ace of Clubs. So let's find out. So with this Jack of Hearts, so the Jack of Hearts kind of represents the water element, and it talks about relationships. 
and intuition and um, emotions. So that lets us know what this Jack of Hearts could represent that uh, we will be seeing a lot of um, relationships, um, people coming into harmony with each other. Um, intuition, you know, using their third, people may be starting to use their third eye or their brain, being able to see certain things more clearly when it comes to their emotions. And if we look back with my notes where we talked about communication, intellect, and quick thinking, um, so, oh, I, did I mention that Mercury also represents quick thinking, also represents curiosity, adaptability, and a sense of humor. So we may see some uh, funny things happening also with this planet um, alignments. But, of course, funny things happen all the time. It's just not necessarily with this alignment. But, <clears throat> excuse me, we just may <clears throat> be able to, or it may be more pronounced, if you will, where we could see more of these things happening. Um, and we could be more aware of it. All right, so moving on to the, uh-oh, it fell. So guys, to the eight, eight of spades. <laughs> so eight of spades talks about air energy, um, thoughts, communication, and it focuses on the, um, sorry about that, guys. So the eight of spades talks about thoughts, communication, and fears. So with this plan of alignment, of course, um, we're dealing with different types of energies and, you know, people of all walks of life. So some may be fearful of this six planet alignment. Um, others may be focused on just basically communication and thoughts, or it could represent people fearing to um, have certain types of communications with certain people. Um, and their thoughts may be running round. So, of course, that represents the air energy. All right. So we have the two of hearts. And that talks about balance and also relationships. So as well as this jack of hearts. So I think that a lot of people may come into harmony with each other with those um, two of hearts, um, which in the tarot represents cups. Um so we're going to probably see a lot more um, things dealing with relationships and love during this time period. Um, and we have the Ace of Clubs. Talks about new beginnings and um, passions and motivation and inspiration. So with this reading, I don't think we really have anything major that we really have to worry about um, nothing really out of the ordinary or disastrous but I think that we just need to pay close attention um, and for those of us who are spiritual minded um, you know let the Creator and our intuition lead us not just during this time but every day of our lives and every walk and within every walk of our lives um, or in the waking lives um, to have the creator um, lead and guide us and as we pay homage to our ancestors as always um, and pray for protection upon our lives and our family lives and close friends so that's all that I have for this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't posted in a while. I've been on other social media sites, um, you know, posting. And um, I haven't been on YouTube in quite some time. But um, I'll try to post like I used to in the past. Um, haven't done much on here lately but thank you to my subscribers thank you 
excuse me so much for subscribing i do apologize that it took this long for me to um come up with content and to share content with you all but thank you until next time peace love and good vibes